What's up guys, it's Phil here with King and Wintech Racing and today I'm gonna to show you how to change the wheels on a seat. So all you really need to uh, change the wheels on a seat is uh, just a 10 millimeter wrench, but I will also show you how to do it with a power drill with a 10 millimeter socket because that will make the process go a little faster. But regardless, whatever you have on hand is gonna work. So here we have our seat. And uh, first, I'm gonna show you how to do this with the 10 millimeter wrench. So first what you want to do is find the outside screws here on the wheel and then just loosen these up. And then once it's loose enough, you take the rest off with your fingers. And then once it's off, make sure you keep all that hardware together. And then just get the wheel you want to replace it with, or you could be the same wheel, whatever you need. Uh, and just put that screw back in and uh, make sure to put the lock washer on first and then followed by flat washer. And then you just wanna put that back on the axle and tighten it up with the wrench. Yep, now that wheel's nice and tight and it's ready to go. And for the power drill, same concept, you just want to do what you did with the wrench, just with the uh, 10 millimeter socket. So you just want to put that socket on the outside here. Make sure your drill is going in reverse. And then hold that seat down nice and firm so it doesn't whip up and hit you. Lock that on, and then just slowly back out that wheel. Bam. Much faster. Again, take that hardware out. Get the wheel you want to replace it with. Get that lock washer on first, followed by that flat washer. And then just put that back on the axle like so. And then once you have that screw threaded, you can reverse the direction of the drill here, so it's going forward. And then just slowly tighten that back up, but be sure not to tighten it too hard. It's gonna click into place, and uh, that's, that way you don't warp the axle. Just like that. So now, your replacement wheels are all set, ready to go. And you can do the same thing on the other side. And then once your wheels are on there, your seat will be ready to be put in the boat. Well guys, that's it for our wheel replacement tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future tutorials and to keep up with all things WinTech and King related. Thanks for watching.